Retiring at 40 is the hot topic right now. It's popping up everywhere on social media. Feels like everyone's trying to figure out how to make it work. If you're thinking the same, this video is definitely for you. Imagine waking up on a random Tuesday morning. The house is quiet, the smell of coffee fills the air, and instead of rushing off to the nine to five grind, you're sitting with your family planning a fun day ahead and travel to new places. No stress about bills, meetings clogging up your calendar. Why? Because you've hit financial freedom and work is now optional. Many people think that retiring at 40 is just a fantasy reserved for the lucky few, but it doesn't have to be that way. With the right mindset and some smart strategies, you can actually make it happen. No lottery tickets required. In this video, we'll dive into actionable steps you can take right now to work toward retiring at 40. From building an emergency fund to investing wisely and starting a side hustle, we'll explore proven principles that can help you achieve financial independence. Let's get started with this. Think differently, retire early, the power of mindset. The biggest hurdle to early retirement isn't about dollars and cents, it's all about mindset. The way you think about money, work, and success can either push you toward financial freedom or keep you stuck in the nine to five grind. Changing your mindset can help you see opportunities and make decisions that align with your goals. Let's break down four ways to reframe your thinking with a few studies to back them up. Number one, thinking long-term instead of living paycheck to paycheck. One of the most important mindset shifts is to stop thinking of your income in the short term. If you get stuck in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, you're just covering today's needs without any real plan for the future. Instead, try thinking of your money as a tool for long-term freedom. Even if you're only saving small amounts right now, it's the consistency that counts. In fact, a study by Princeton economist Elder Schaefer shows that when people focus only on immediate financial needs, it can cloud their ability to plan long-term. This tunnel vision makes it harder to think about future goals like retirement. Changing your mindset to prioritize future financial stability, even if it's just setting aside $50 a month to start, can create a huge difference over time. Number two, embracing a growth mindset. A fixed mindset believes that your financial situation is just the way it is, and there's nothing you can do to change it. But a growth mindset, as described by psychologist Carol Dweck, focuses on the belief that you can improve your situation with effort and learning. So instead of thinking, I'll never be able to afford to retire early, you start asking, what can I do today to get closer to my financial goals? This could mean learning about investing, picking up new skills to earn more money, or simply tweaking your budget. And in later in this video, I'll talk about them. Number three, viewing money as a tool, not a goal. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that money is the ultimate goal, but if you shift your mindset and start viewing money as a tool to create the life you want, everything changes. Instead of working more hours to make more money just for the sake of it, ask yourself, how can I use the money I have to buy my freedom? Number four, shifting from I can't to how can I? This might sound small, but the language we use with ourselves can have a huge impact on how we approach challenges. When you say, I can't afford to save for retirement right now, it feels final. But if you reframe it to, how can I start saving even just a little? It opens up a world of possibilities. The FIRE movement. How much do you need to retire early? The FIRE movement, or financial independence, retire early, really started picking up steam in the 1990s, thanks to the book, Your Money or Your Life, by Joe Dominguez and Vicki Robin. The main idea is simple. Focus your spending on what truly matters. Save aggressively up to 70% of your income and aim to retire as soon as you can. The goal is to build a savings cushion that's around 25 times your yearly expenses, letting you live off that for the long haul. 
For example, if you plan to live off $40,000 a year in retirement, multiply $40,000 with 25, and that's $1 million. And that's what you need for your early retirement. Once you've hit that number, you can retire early and withdraw only 4% of your savings each year to cover your living costs. The key here is balancing spending less, increasing your income streams, and letting your investments grow over time. Now let's discuss about how you can earn, and that's our next point to be covered. Increase your income, side hustles, and smart choices. Saving is crucial, but let's be real. You can't save your way to early retirement without increasing your income. All right, let's break it down. If you're pulling in $73,000 a year and saving about 70% of that, it's gonna take you over 26 years to reach that dreamy $1.8 million for retirement. That's like waiting for your favorite TV show to drop its next season. Too long, right? If you wanna kick back and enjoy life sooner, you've got to boost that income. Now you might be thinking, but how do I make more money? Starting a side hustle is one of the best ways. Here are a few ideas. Number one, video editing. If you've got skills in video editing, you can freelance your services. Platforms like Upwork or Fiverr are perfect for finding gigs. Imagine editing wedding videos or promotional clips for small businesses. You can set your rates and work on projects in your free time, turning your skills into extra cash. Number two, online tutoring. If you're knowledgeable in a particular subject, why not tutor students online? Websites like Tutor.com or Chegg Tutors let you connect with students needing help. Whether it's math, science, or even language skills, you can make a decent hourly wage while sharing your knowledge. Number three, affiliate marketing. If you've got a blog or a decent social media following, affiliate marketing can be a great way to earn. Promote products you love, and every time someone buys through your link, you earn a commission. For example, if you're into tech, you could review gadgets and include affiliate links to those products. It's like getting paid to recommend your favorite stuff. Number four, sell digital products. If you're creative, Consider selling digital products like ebooks, printables, or online courses. Websites like Etsy allow you to sell printables, like planners or art, while platforms like Teachable or Udemy let you create and sell online courses. Share your expertise, whether it's graphic design, photography, or personal finance tips, and make money while helping others. So, instead of waiting around for years to hit your retirement goals, think about what you can do on the side. Make calculated investments. All right, so your side hustle is finally bringing in some cash. Woo hoo hoo. Now, instead of letting that money chill in your bank account like it's on vacation, let's get it to work for you. Investing is like giving your money a little adventure, helping it grow over time so you can enjoy life even more. Here are some chill ways to start investing that side hustle income. Number one, stock market. Ever thought about diving into the stock market? It's not as scary as it sounds. You can buy shares of companies you love and believe in. Apps like Robinhood make it super easy to start trading. For instance, if you're all about eco-friendly living, you might wanna throw some money into companies that are changing the game, like Tesla, just remember, do a bit of homework so you feel good about your picks. Number two, index funds or ETFs. Not sure about picking individual stocks? No worries. Index funds and ETFs, exchange traded funds, are like the buffet of investing. They let you invest in a whole bunch of companies at once, which is a great way to spread your risk. Think of it as a low-key way to invest without the pressure of picking just one stock. Plus, they usually come with lower fees. Number three, real estate. If you're looking to level up your investing game, real estate can be a solid option. And you don't have to buy a whole house right off the bat. Check out real estate crowdfunding platforms like Fundrise where you can invest in property projects with a smaller amount of cash. It's a cool way to get a slice of the real estate pie without all the landlord headaches. Number four, retirement accounts. 
Seriously, don't sleep on this one. Putting some of that side hustle money into a retirement account like a Roth IRA is a smart move. You'll get some sweet tax benefits and it'll help you build a cozy nest egg for when you're ready to kick back. Trust me, future you will thank you for it. Number five, invest in yourself. And hey, don't forget about investing in you. Take a course to sharpen your skills, pick up a new hobby, or even just read some great books. The more you invest in yourself, the more you can grow your hustle and make bank down the line. Start early, the power of budgeting and saving. If you wanna retire by 40, you can't just save whatever's left at the end of the month. You need a plan. A great starting point is the 50-30-20 rule, where you spend 50% of your income on needs, 30% on wants, and 20% goes to savings. But here's the twist. If you're serious about early retirement, you'll want to flip those numbers around. Save and invest more like 40% or 50% of your income and live well below your means. When I say live below your means, I don't mean you need to live like a monk and cut out everything you enjoy. It's more about being mindful of where your money goes and making adjustments that don't actually hurt your quality of life. Let me give you some real world examples of how this can play out especially for those of us in the 20 to 35 age range. Take something as simple as grabbing lunch. If you're spending $15 on takeout every workday, that adds up to around $300 a month. That's $3,600 a year just for lunch. What if instead you meal prepped for the week? You could still enjoy delicious meals, but it might only cost you $3 or $4 per meal. That's a small change but it frees up a ton of cash over time that you could save or invest. Plus, you're likely eating healthier, which is a win-win. Another thing to look at is all those subscriptions we tend to accumulate. Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, Spotify, gym memberships, subscription boxes. It's easy for these to pile up, and before you know it, you're spending hundreds a month on stuff you don't even use all the time. Cutting back doesn't mean you have to cancel everything and live like it's 1995. But maybe ask yourself, do you really need all of those services? Could you rotate between them or find a free alternative for some? Just trimming a few subscriptions can save you $50 to $100 a month. Have an emergency fund. Let's get real for a second. Life has a knack for throwing unexpected expenses our way. One minute you're cruising along, and the next, you're hit with a surprise car repair or a sudden medical bill. That's where an emergency fund comes in handy. Did you know that about 36% of Americans say they couldn't cover a $400 emergency in cash? If you find yourself starting from zero savings when life throws a curveball, it can be pretty stressful. An emergency fund is basically your financial safety net ready to swoop in when those unplanned expenses pop up. While financial experts often recommend saving up about six months worth of living expenses, don't sweat it if you can't start there. Just begin with whatever you can manage, maybe $50 or $100 a month. The important thing is to start building that cushion. When creating your fund, consider three things. Number one, Household size, how many people rely on your income? Number two, income stability. How secure is your job? Number three, monthly expenses. What are your essential costs? I hope you've learned a word or two from this video. What do you think about the strategies we discussed? Do you have any tips or experiences to share? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. So, let's get to it and start building that emergency fund. You'll be glad you did.